Jordan. I hope you're all having a very good day today. Now, will you please stand for the pledge? I pledge of allegiance to the flag and the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you, Edgewood. Now back to the desk. Attention seniors, are you interested in giving a speech at graduation? If so, make sure you go sign up in the library anytime between Monday, April 15th and Friday, April 9th. All seniors will then vote on Wednesday, April 24th for a male and female speaker. End of year course exams are almost done, but we've got a couple more to go. Your attendance is important. Students who are testing will report to the will report to school as normal with their charged Chromebooks. Students who are not testing do not have to come to school until 10:30. As long as you are as long as you have your their own transportation, of course. If you do not have alternative transportation, you will ride the bus as normal and, and you will have a study hall until the end of the test. On Tuesday, April 16th, the U.S. History and Government Exams, both Parts 1 and 2, will take place. Then on Monday, April 22nd, Biology 1 and 2 tests will be taken. And just as a reminder, there will be students who are continuing testing today, taking part two of the Algebra 1 and Geometry test, so please stay quiet. And Attention Youth Philanthropy members, please mark your calendars for next Wednesday, April 17th, for the annual recognition luncheon at, at Camp Cavalry. Youth Philanthropy Board members should plan to be gone from 10 a.m. to 12.30 p.m. This is a catered event, so if you are unable to make it, please let Mrs. Nelson know by today, of course. And speaking of youth philanthropy, those students involved held a check presentation in the library Wednesday to grant winners chosen by the club. All of their fundraisers from the past school year have finally culminated in this event. Congratulations to all involved and thanks to sophomore Julia Skarnich for getting the footage. Any student who is interested in being a member of student council during the 2024-2025 school year must complete the application form that was sent to your school email. The application form will, will be open from April 11th to April 18th. No applications will be accepted after Thursday the 18th. And the, if you have any questions, please see Ms. Cato. To all students attending prom on May 3rd, Tickets will be going on sale from April 16th until April 30th. They will be 50 bucks each and they can be purchased during your lunch period. Guest forms can be found in the office or from the prom committee selling tickets. The committee has also decided to incorporate seating charts. Tables can fit up to eight people, so start making plans with your friends now. To seniors, there was a poll sent to your email regarding the prom committee wanting you to honor you by creating a memory lane during prom. The committee is, re is requesting one baby, toddler, uh, or kid photo, and one current photo of yourself. Please do not send group photos. If you have any questions, please refer to Ms. Lamont. For lunch today, there's stuffed crust pizza, spring salad mix, cherry tomatoes, veggie cup, and dip assorted fruit juice, and applesauce. That was a fastball of news, so let's toss it to over, let's toss it over to Jacob for sports. Hey, yo, I'm back at the sports desk this week for this week's airing of EMTV, and I'm here to deliver our latest sports updates from here at Edgewood. Without further ado, game on. Warriors baseball team returned from their Vero Beach trip from Florida, and they will be facing off against the Howland Tigers tonight at Howland High School at 5 p.m. Next Monday, they will also face the Lakeside Dragons at Lakeside High School at 4.30 p.m. Last Tuesday's game against the Madison Blue Streaks was a real heartbreaker for our Warriors as a late lead loss led to a 4-3 defeat. Aiden Hernandez, Logan Cray, and Caleb Johnson each collected a hit for the Warriors. 
Riley Baldwin and Riley Johnson were tough to match as each one drove one for the Warriors. JV Baseball also fell to Madison at 17-6 with Logan Randolph, Austin Reigns, Logan Dragon, and Sean Lincoln scoring hits. The ladies softball team joins the baseball team at Howland High School tonight at 4.30 p.m. as they face off against the Lady Tigers. On Saturday, they will also face the Rebels of Willoughby South and the Bees of Medina High. The game versus the Rebels will be at 9 a.m. and the game versus the Bees will be at 1 p.m. The JV Lady Warriors defeated the Perry Pirates at 15-4. With notable mentions to Ashley Sloan, Alina Sabo, and Emma Toff for their efforts in the game. The Varsity Lady Warriors fell to Perry 9-5. Natalie Iannetta leading three hits and McKenna Rhodes drove the middle of the lineup with two runs and Juliana Gregory got two hits as well. The boys tennis team faces off against the Lakeview Bulldogs next Monday at home at 4 p.m. and they will face the Lakeside Dragons at 4 p.m. the day after, also at home. The boys track team heads to Grand Valley tonight for an invitational versus the Grand Valley Mustangs and the Cardinal Huskies at 4 p.m. They will also head to Lakeside next Wednesday for in an invitational versus the Lakeside Dragons and Jefferson Falcons. For, to the, congratulations to the Warrior boys for their decisive victory over Kanye in Grand Valley on Tuesday winning with a huge margin of 86 points compared to Conniat's 33 and Grand Valley's 30. The girls track team will also be present at Grand Valley tonight at 4 p.m. and they will also be meeting at Lakeside next Monday for a meet versus the Lakeside Dragons and Jefferson Falcons. Congratulations to the Lady Warriors track team for the win over Conniat and Grand Valley Tuesday as the same with the boys with 67 scored compared to 41 by Conniat and 37 by Grand Valley. That concludes our weekly sports report. I'm glad to be here. Now let's head back to the desk with Brock and Raven. Thank you, Jacob. Congratulations to the February Coloring Contest winners. First place goes to Scarlett Whiplin, second place goes to Rebecca Dittmore, and third place goes to Chase Leonard. Also, this April Coloring Contest has started. Submit your coloring page to Ms. Wallace by the end of April. Attention students, anyone interested in or already enrolled in broadcasting or multimedia can come to information meetings held by Mrs. Polta next Wednesday 17th during, fir during first and third period. The Ashtabula YMCA is looking for volunteers to run concession stands during youth basketball games on Saturdays from now until the end of April. Hours are available from 7.30 to 4.30. Contact Mrs. Dizzy if you are interested. Band uniform drop-off for seniors are today. Junior uniform drop-off is on Monday, April 15th, sophomore Friday, sophomores Friday, April 19th, and freshman drop-off is Thursday, April 25th. The yearbook deadline is coming up on April 30th. You can buy your yearbook for $65 by getting a form from the office or library and turn it into Mrs. Fisher or go online at www.yearbookforever.com. Thank you. Now today with birthdays are Kaylin McConkey, Aiden Cruz Hobson, Vance Brown, on this Saturday with Laney Rude, and this Sunday with Gabriella McCumber and Evan Whitmire. Happy birthday, everyone. Well, that's all we have for you this week. Thank you, Warrior Nation, and have a great weekend. Okay, that's all right, it. that's it. Short and sweet. Good level. It's with media!